One of the things we've seen come alongside the rise of remote working and hybrid working and the culture that comes alongside of that is the increase in surveillance. And this is really important to talk about because there's more and more digital surveillance being used, but digital surveillance doesn't necessarily increase productivity and often surveillance kills productivity. So being watched all the time is not helpful in people's works. Having your screen recorded and your webcam monitored and all of this stuff is not really a good way of improving productivity, of measuring productivity or, you know, boosting employee engagement. Um, it's interesting to see what's happening because that kind of surveillance where you're just monitoring people's screens or taking snapshots of their activity on their computers is a really lazy and ineffective way of measuring performance. And often it's when people don't have another way of measuring productivity because you shouldn't be measuring people's minute by minute, like second by second behavior in that way. What you should be looking at is what they're producing and what the output is. So if you're looking at productivity, what kind of productivity do you want to get? What is the team or the organization, the company trying to produce? And then how can you look at the outputs of employees to measure that instead of monitoring their behavior? Because that's not necessarily what's predicting performances, looking at what windows they have open or looking at their face at certain times to see if they're at their computer. Now, if there's an issue with people not taking remote work seriously, if there's a serious performance issue with people not actually working from home, there's much easier and less invasive ways to deal with that, right? So if people are not working when they're supposed to be working, if they're not picking up calls when they're supposed to be in meetings, if they're not responding to their boss when they're supposed to be doing something, you don't need to be recording people's screens and taking snapshots of their daily activity and recording stuff on their webcams to deal with that. There's all sorts of more direct ways of doing that if people aren't showing up or doing the basic things that are required of them at work, like, you know, showing up to meetings and responding to calls, getting stuff done. If people aren't getting their work done, then you address the work that's not getting done, not monitoring their behavior. But there has been a real rise in this type of digital surveillance in digital workplaces. So if productivity is important, and it is in different ways in pretty much every job, every type of work, we have to look at what type of performance we want to see. And is that performance people sitting at their computer for eight specific hours a day? Well, unlikely. Usually what we want is some specific type of output, some type of work, some type of outcome, some type of success criteria that should be definable. So we should be able to say this is the type of document this person needs to produce, this is the type of relationship they have to have with customers, this is the amount of business they have to bring in, this is the creative content they have to produce, and then we look at ways around measuring that or assessing that or seeing if people are producing the work, not managing people by, you know, peeking in on their webcam and seeing what they're doing minute by minute because that leads to all sorts of other problems. And then the problem is you have this very performative work when it's not necessarily productive work. So I mean performative work in the way that people, when they're monitored, behave in a way that reacts to the monitoring and what type of monitoring that is and what people are looking for, right? So that may be making sure you are sat at your desk eight hours a day, but not necessarily getting work done because that's not exactly how people work all the time, right? Is sitting at your desk staring, staring at a spreadsheet. But if you've got a computer that's taking snapshots and people are getting performance bonuses every time a spreadsheet is open, every time people are sitting in front of a webcam, then people are gonna modify their behavior to react to that surveillance. People, Some people will quit, but some people will modify their behavior to game the system. So if you're looking at monitoring that kind of performative productivity, then it's not gonna be very effective. Whereas if you're looking at actual productivity that's based on results and performance and the kind of behaviors you want to see in the workplace as an output, then that's substantially different. And we can say, we're going to measure your performance by what you create, what you produce, what the effect of your work is. And that's the kind of behavior we want to encourage, not gaming an algorithm or gaming a surveillance device, because not only is it creepy, weird, it's completely ineffective right? You're creating the wrong types of incentives. Now, some people will argue, and I've heard this argument that we've had serious performance issues with employees who aren't showing up, who aren't working remotely effectively. And if that's the case, deal with that. Absolutely. If people are at a job, getting paid to do a job, and they've got clear performance criteria, and they're not meeting them, they need to go. You need to have a conversation with them, talk to them about what the performance criteria are, what they need to be accomplishing to stay in that job. And if they're not doing that, then they need to find a different job. So it's absolutely legitimate to have those conversations. You need to have those performance management conversations to do that, but it needs to be done in a way that understands what you're actually trying to create, what kind of culture you're trying to build, what they're trying to contribute to the team, and then what the output of their work looks like. So once you do that, then you can look at performance management around what people are creating, producing, doing, rather than just spying on their behavior, because that's not only ineffective, it's often counterproductive. Thank you.